One of the hardest things about designing curriculum is to build them around the lives of students. We often make them all about the textbooks and the content to be learned in the subject instead. Do you worry about this too? If you're nodding your head right now, this discussion is for you. We want to answer one key question. That is, how can we make students central to the curricular planning process, just like we do for content and skills? We want to think of ways both at a broad level and at a detailed fine grain level, because making students central cannot happen by changing specific learning strategies. Strategies like small group instruction or problem-based learning. We often think that if we make curriculum for the average student, that all students can succeed. But the truth is that all students are different. They're different in ability, ethnicity, interests, cultural background, and gender. They're different in socioeconomic circumstances, the places they come from, and many more things. And this matters and affects how they learn. That's because their minds aren't empty boxes that we can dump a bunch of pieces of knowledge in. So we need to make curriculum around their backgrounds. We should treat their participation as an asset that helps us shape our curriculum. It adds purpose and meaning to the educational process. Designing around them is not a nice to have. It is necessary to ensure learning. Thus, student-centered curriculum is curriculum that accounts for these differences in as many places as possible. Student-centered can be quantified easily, but all curriculum can be qualitatively assessed and improved to be more student-centric. And that too without compromising the achievement levels you want students to meet. If we focus on making curriculum student-centric, we can create inclusion. This may fix things that others may have gotten wrong with not recognizing each student's personal, social, and cognitive capabilities. But you may work in an education system with a lot of pressure. This might lead you to think that making curriculum centered on students is impossible. Despite rigid curricular or assessment expectations you may be facing, we believe there are ways to make it happen. Teachers and administrators everywhere hold a lot of power. This power exists in hundreds of small decisions that they make every day in shaping learning for their students. And in those small decisions lie hundreds of opportunities to make curriculum student-centered.